This video is going to go over some of the basic functionality of ProjectWise. For starters, I'm going to talk about the panes. Over here we have a left pane, which shows our data sources, but when logged into a data source, it shows a folder structure. So this is used for a working directory, much like File Explorer. If I click Active Projects, I have subfolders that are districts. Under districts, we have counties. And under counties, we have a project. This is considered a rich project. Rich projects are typically going to be PIDs with project properties assigned to them. Down here is our preview pane. This shows us our project properties pulled straight from Ellis. Next, we have a document list. This shows the subfolders under the selected project on the left pane. Here I'm going to go into the scratch folder. The scratch folder has documents and when selected has document properties, much like the project properties we saw earlier. In the document list above, I have a few examples of icons. Doc 5 has an open book. This means you have read only access to this document. You can't make any changes to it. The red check mark means the document is checked out exclusively to you. Other users will say a lock, which is down here. This entails, again, that another user has this document already checked out. Here we have a final status icon. This means that the document is in final status and is completed where no one has write access. An administrator is needed to reverse the final status if changes are needed to be done. Next is the pencil. This document is checked in and you have permissions to modify the document or the document properties.